I was born and raised on the farm in a little French Canadian village called Pointe aux Roches in southwestern Ontario. And I was number six out of eight children, all born at home on a farmhouse, no running water, no you know, no plumbing, inside plumbing. So in my summers, I would hold a hundred acres by myself and loved being out in the fresh air. So after graduating from high school, I attended Ottawa University and graduated with my teaching certificate. And I moved to Windsor and taught there for three years and then met Fern, got married and moved to Coquitlam where Fern attended UBC and got his teaching certificate. And I was subbing and raising our four children. So in 1972, when the uh, Justice Building, RCMP building, became vacant, Fern went to City Hall with Don Porter Lance, Mrs. Payton, Gloria Orr, who were all in the Coquitlam Fine Arts Council. And they applied to get the building. And Jim Tun, like you say, who was the mayor at that time, he said to Fern, you can have the building. I give you six months. If you make a go of it, you can have it, but you're getting no money. So that's how it got going because everybody kind of chipped in and, you know, rooms like mirrors were bought for the ballet room. And the whole thing was like a beehive of activities. Well, Mrs. Payton and I, we were volunteering at Place des Arts. Then we found out that we could have a lip grant which was a local initiative program. So we applied and got it. And then that gave us money to buy pianos and different things like that, that we needed, looms for weaving. And of course, the program was to create jobs. So we couldn't stay on as volunteers. So we had to go get our social insurance number that we didn't have and started working at Place des Arts and the, the lip ramp was supposed to be six months and it lasted about eight months. So on December 1st, Dave Barrett, who was our MLA, officially opened the building in 1972. So the, Mrs. Payton was really convinced to become director and programmer and I was bookkeeping for two days a week for 22 years. You know, Mrs. Payton was an exceptional woman she had survived cancer and she suffered from rheumatoid arthritis and never complained, came to work every day and she said Plastiza gave her a purpose in life and gave her a purpose to get going in the morning. Besides the, all the different programs that we had, Mrs. Payton and I were involved with the Coquitlam First Nighters which we would rent a bus or, and usually it was a grade five students in school district 43 that we invited to attend their first ballet or their first concert or first opera and little girls would dress in their pretty dresses and they would sit on the edge of their seat trying to take everything in. It was really something worthwhile for, for these little people. Also, we had a satellite program where teachers went into the schools and taught like music. Mr. I taught music. There was Marge White and June McDonald, Elaine. There was a lot of teachers that went into the schools. Sometimes it was more appropriate to have the students come to the Place des Arts because of the looms and pottery wheels and so forth. But uh, those two programs uh, were very, um, very good, you know, for the students. And um, also the, the committee that we sat on was the expansion committee. When, when Jillian came on board, we met uh, many, many early mornings for that committee. And I guess one of our dreams was seeing the expansion. And when, I guess, Joan took over, it's what it is today. I mean, it's a marvelous building, I think. Plastic art is really a gift to the community. I mean, so many children, I would be amazed to see how many children and adults have come through Plastic art. I think it's the community-minded, you know, 
center that involved everybody from three-year-olds to Golden Agers program that they met every week and did arts and crafts over a cup of coffee and reminisced about their, because they were all women in their 80s probably. And, you know, to see how Place des Arts reached into the community, to me that is very unique about Place des Arts. It probably still is, but it was then.